Hey guys, Peluji here. In this video, I want to discuss uh, when to use UI kits and when you shouldn't use UI kits. Now, I'm going to use uh, Volume, which is uh, the most recent uh, website UI kit, which I created and posted on UI8. You can find it in the link in the description. But uh, the main point of this video is essentially, should you actually use a UI kit in the first place? Because uh, although UI kits can be really good uh, in some instances, in other ones, they're not going to be useful and can actually make you waste some time. So let's go through a live example. So over here, you can see that UI kits, for the most part, they're essentially blocks with elements. And this can be both individual blocks and also, you know, entire pages. And this can be dashboards or mobile apps. So when would this actually be useful? I, in my personal opinion, UI kits are useful if you're creating a project from scratch. So this might be for a client that wants a complete redesign of their app, or they're just starting a project from scratch. Now, I think that if you're ready, if the client, for example, already has a design in place, UI kits are not going to be as useful and can actually make you waste time because let's say that you already have um, all sorts of different screens with a specific style uh, set up right here. Well, having a UI kit and uh, you know, kind of like dragging and dropping elements within that specific style is going to require you to, you know, adjust all of the different styles, such as the typography, the objects, and even, you know, the layouts, because each and every design um, UI kit has its own set style. So unless uh, you're going to find a UI kit, which is going to be perfectly matching the current design of your client, it's going to be quite difficult to actually get to that level of consistency. Plus, you also have to take the um, opportunity cost, which is going to be going through all of the different web pages and uh, you know elements in order to actually find the element which you need. So in my personal opinion, if you already have a client project set up, probably a UI kit isn't the best and most efficient way to go. However, let's say that you're starting a new website from scratch and uh, you know that you need, uh, for example, a call to action section. Well, you can simply you know, drag and drop this and maybe you need a category and you have a few options. So as you can see, the, the biggest benefit of a UI kit is that if you already know that you need a specific uh, part of uh, um, like a specific element within uh, that website, you can easily like kind of like drag and drop uh, these elements uh, and then adjust them on the go. So let's say that I need also like some clients testimonials or something around these lines. Um, you can see that uh, as I'm going to drag and drop these elements, I can quickly create uh, a web page structure in uh, essentially quite uh, a bit less time than uh, creating it from scratch. But sometimes, you know, UI kits aren't going to be um, as useful. And my biggest suggestion is, regardless of the, of the UI kit which you're going to use, just find one which has like a lot of different options. Because if you're not going to have a lot of options, you're essentially going to be restricted by the um, basic uh, UI kit as there are. Because there's a lot of really cool UI kits out there, but some of them, they're missing the quantity aspect. And that's something that I always like, you know, I always like to have like choice whenever I'm selecting some, some elements. So, you know, for example, here, the footers, and by the way, volume is essentially my personal UI kit, which I used for creating a lot of websites for clients. And then I just decided to make it like, um, you know, to publish it for, for the public. So, that, you know, why not? So essentially, uh, the way that they structure it is uh, I want to have a lot of variety. So for example, if I want a footer, I don't want to just have, a, you know, a few options, but I want to have like a lot of options because different clients have different needs, different projects are going to require different elements, different layouts. 
So essentially that's uh, um, my recommendation. I usually don't use too many UI kits during the course of the year. I just use a few of them, but the ones which I do use are actually quite big. So definitely keep that in mind. And uh, just to recap, you know, UI kits aren't going to be suitable for each and every project. Sometimes you simply have to start things from scratch and that is totally fine. And, uh, you know, most of, the, of my work actually is not a UI kit at all. I barely, barely touch them these days, especially since I'm working with like uh, just one client <laughs> at the moment, which uh, is requiring me to do all custom work and there isn't really a need. But for example, if a startup approaches me and they tell me, hey Pierre, I don't have a, a big budget. I just want to have to, to get up this landing page real quick. The design should be good, uh, maybe not great, or maybe they even want a great design, of course. And uh, that would be a scenario where I would consider having a UI kit in place. But again, usually when you use the UI kit afterwards, you're going to do all sorts of different customization. You're not just going to like drag and drop things, uh, copy and paste and call it a day. Of course, you're that's not why you are a designer. You're actually a designer because you want to solve a high level solution with also really good design skills. And uh, basically the UI kit is a bridge, so it as a bridge as uh, um, allowing you to create uh, a really good structure that then you can adapt, uh, personalize. And uh, so it's not going to be the, the end product in 99.9% of scenarios, but it's just going to be something which uh, is going to allow you to have uh, all the elements in place. And then uh, essentially you can uh, tweak these elements, redesign them, edit them, change the fonts, uh, colors and whatnot uh, in order to create a custom solution for your clients. So hope this video was helpful. By the way, I want to remind you that I have a free course uh, on how to get started in UI UX design, which you can check in the link in the description. Hope this video was uh, helpful and uh, I'll see you in the next one.